Hey guys, what's up? MooneyB123 coming to you today. Uh, in this video today, I want to show you a quick and easy way to root your Android smartphone. Uh, this is the newest method that's been developed in the last couple days that has been put out in the last couple days. Today is uh, June 16th, 2014. This is uh, the root method developed by GeoHot and uh, some, other, uh, some other developers that, that kind of work together to be able to develop this root method. This is probably one of the easiest root methods that's been developed. It can be done completely on the phone. Uh, for, for us Samsung Galaxy users, we don't have to use Odin or use any other technique. It can be done completely on the phone. And the good thing about this is, from what I understand, it does not trip not the Knox counter. Now, this root method was originally developed for the Samsung Galaxy S5 for AT&T and, um, and the Verizon version. As you can see today, I'm not running the Galaxy S5, I'm running the Gal Galaxy Note 2. And so, it was originally developed for the Galaxy S5, but GeoHot says that for any phones that are built uh, where their kernel date is before June 2014, this root method should work for it. So, on my Galaxy Note 2, I'm running one of the newest ROMs, uh, EasyCat 2.0. This is using the international... ROM that was for the for the international Galaxy Note 2, the N7105. So I haven't tried this this root method, but I'm going to try it on here. But for you Galaxy S5 users or, or anybody else that's watching this, it's going to be the exact same technique. So you can try this. If it doesn't work, then then it's fine. But um, but this this will be an easy starting point to see if you can use this method to start with. I've seen people, even uh, LG G2 users, saying that it works to root their phones. So not even Samsung phones um, are able to use this, this root technique. Okay, so I'll have a link in the description to all of these websites that you need, or there's just two of them that we're going to need. The first one is this one right here. This is GeoHot's website that he developed for this root method. It's called Towel Root. And so this is at TowelRoot.com. And all you do is you click on this Lambda, and it's going to download an APK here. All right, it's down, downloaded that tr2.apk. All right, so that's easy enough. And then the other thing that you need to download, again, I'll have a link in the description to this, is you need to download the newest Super SU from Chainfire's website, not from the Play Store because it's not updated over there yet. So you can click on Download that uh, Update Super SU version 1.99. And we're going to download, have both of those downloaded. So let's go ahead and click on this TR. And I forgot we need to... Actually, before I even do that, let me go over here. We need to go into settings. And this is going to be the same for you S5 users. Okay, so I need to go to uh, security. Find security. And then go to unknown sources. Check that. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here. This downloaded APK, this tr.apk. I'm going to install that. Okay, install it anyways. Okay, uh, one thing I forgot to do before I started in here, I just want to show you that for sure this thing, this is root checker. You can go on the Play Store and download Root Checker, and it'll check to see if you have root. Sorry, this phone does not have proper root access. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Get, open this towel root, and you can see there that button that says Make It Rain. Okay, now one other thing is I need to uh, need to go find that, that Super SU that I downloaded as well. So my device storage, I'm going to find that under download. And you can see right here, there's it's a zipped file. So what we want to do is extract that. If you don't have some way to extract that, you can download unzip from the Play Store and you can do that. This is just the standard file manager that comes with my Samsung um, Galaxy Note 2. So it's able to extract it. So I'm going to extract that. So what I'm going to do is look for the common folder. Oh, actually, I'm going to. It's extracted right here, and I'm going to find this common folder, and then that superuser.apk is going to be 
the most up-to-date Super SU that I need. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. It didn't work on mine. It may not be able to work, but I'm gonna try this again. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna work for mine, but those are the steps that you're gonna take to be able to root your Samsung Galaxy S5 and you can even try that on some other uh, on like I said on other Android smartphones and just check to see if it is gonna work. Um, apparently that's not gonna be able to work with, with mine, but with Galaxy S5, AT&T and Verizon. Um, going through those steps right there, you should be able to root your your, um, your Android smartphone. So I'm gonna check this again real quick. I'm pretty sure that didn't do what it was supposed to do. It's, I think it's supposed to kind of work there for a little bit, and uh, I don't think it did anything. Nope. So it's not gonna work on mine, but those steps will work on Samsung Galaxy S5, AT&T, and Verizon. Thanks for watching today.